Hello! This is a video that is not about politics. This is going to be a video about something that's totally different. If you want to watch a video on politics, there are so many that you can find, so many podcasts, so many articles, so many things. I'm not going to be talking about politics right now. I'm going to be talking about something totally different. Earlier this week, someone reached out to me and asked me, hey, uh, can you help me out? I need to pick a confirmation saint and I have no idea where to start. So I thought I would put together a quick, snappy little video and talk to you about how you can best find a confirmation saint. So if you've already been confirmed and already picked a confirmation saint, that's totally fine. Stick around. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about what is the purpose of confirmation and who the saints actually are. Or you can always send this video to someone who is going through the confirmation process. What is confirmation? Confirmation is one of the seven sacraments. Sacraments are visible signs of the sometimes invisible reality of God's love. Sacraments make God's love tangible, concrete. You can feel it, you can taste it, you can directly participate in the love of God through the sacraments. So the seven sacraments are baptism, confirmation, Eucharist, reconciliation, holy orders, holy matrimony, and anointing of the sick. I think that was all of them. Yeah, that was all of them. Confirmation is one of the sacraments of initiation, along with baptism and along with Eucharist. The word initiation comes from a Latin word that means to begin to start, to get into, to enter into. And that's what the sacraments of initiation do. They help you start, they help you begin, they help you get into the mystery of the Christian life. Through the sacrament of confirmation, one receives special graces, special blessings from the Holy Spirit. Pretty much spiritual superpowers that allow you to fully actively participate in the life of the church and to evangelize the world, to share the love and the truth of the Christian faith is pretty cool. Through the process of confirmation, it's very common for someone to choose a confirmation saint name to take on an addition to their own name. According to the Code of Canon Law, this isn't strictly necessary to do to adopt a confirmation saint name, as long as your original name is Christian in origin. So like, your name can't be Buddha or Muhammad or something. If that was the case, it would be necessary for you to adopt a confirmation saint name. Otherwise, it's not strictly necessary, but it's awesome, and this is why. Your name reveals your identity. Say you meet someone for the first time and they say, who are you? You wouldn't say, I'm a human. I'm athlete. I am a Gryffindor. You, you wouldn't say these things. You would say, hi, I'm Maggie. You would start by revealing your identity through your name. Your name reveals your identity. We see this in scripture, and I really want to talk about all the times in scripture that God changes someone's name, but I don't really have a lot of time because YouTube analytics have told me that you guys stop watching this video if it goes too long, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. It's like when you get your PhD, you can choose to have the title doctor added to your name. So like if I got my PhD, don't get your hopes up mom. My name could be Dr. Maggie Craig. Does the addition of the name doctor change who I am? No, it adds to it. If you choose to get married and you choose to add your spouse's last name, does the addition of their last name change your identity, change who you are? No, not at all. It adds to your identity. Same thing with choosing a confirmation saint name. When you choose to take on the name of a confirmation saint, of a canonized saint, does that change who you are? Does it mess with your identity? No, it adds to it. When you add a saint name in addition to your own name, you are identifying not just with yourself, you begin to identify with the saints and with the church. The saints were normal human people who lived and walked this earth, some of them thousands of years ago, some of them very recently. While they were on earth, they were imperfect people who had sins, who had doubts, who had questions, who had concerns, who weren't quite sure if they could fully live the Christian life. But the saints were also people who believed in mercy and who believed in the divine power of God to help them. Not that they had the strength on their own. None of us do. But the saints knew that the grace of God was sufficient for them in their own weakness. And now the saints enjoy the eternal life with God in heaven. The saints are awesome people. Are they divine? No, but they're friends with the divine. You know when you're dating someone and they bring you home to meet their family? 
and they bring you home to meet their friends. That's a really big deal. It's really exciting to get to know their family, to get to know their friends, to get to know the people who love and know them best. That's the same thing with us in our faith. When we're in this relationship with God, God wants to take the next step in our relationship. He wants to introduce you to his family, to his friends, to the saints. And the more we get to know the family and friends of God, the more we get to know who God is. Saints, pretty cool. Choosing a saint name, pretty cool, because that's you identifying yourself with the family and friends of God. So how do you pick a confirmation saint? What do you do? Who do you choose? I've got a couple suggestions. First things first, pray. Pray about it. Ask God. God, who is the saint for me? Who should be my confirmation saint? Which saint can help lead me to you best? And God knows all of his friends pretty well, and God knows which friend of his, which saint of his can help you best. First thing to do when choosing a confirmation saint, pray. Second piece of advice, I would ask those who know you well and who know God well if they have any suggestions. When I was in high school, when I was going through the process of confirmation, I, like so many people, didn't know what saint to choose. I was talking to an adult volunteer at my youth group. I was talking to Jill Burke, and Jill Burke said to me, hey, Maggie, have you heard of Saint Faustina? And I was like, no, who that? And she's like, wow, she's this great modern saint. She lived an amazing life. She wrote this diary about how she communicated with God and a big love of his mercy. Maggie, I think you should get to know Saint Faustina. And I was like, okay. And I did, and through that recommendation, I chose Saint Faustina to be my saint. Ask your family, ask your friends, ask people who know and love you and who know and love God if they have any suggestions. Third piece of advice, Focus less on the name of the saint and more on how they live their lives. Yes, you're taking on their name in addition to your own, but don't focus on the flow of the name or how cool it sounds. I mean, like, I get that, I understand that, but that's not really the focus of confirmation to get a cool, classy name addition. That's, that's not the point. Next piece of advice I would give you is to go through a list of saints. There are so many saint books that you can find. There are so many lists of saints online. You could literally Google list of Catholic saints. And I'll provide um, some helpful links that you could check out that could give you lists of saints that maybe you've never heard of before. Go through lists of saints. Make a list of three, four, or five saints, not really any more than that, who sound interesting, who sound cool then get to know them more, look up their lives more in depth and pray about and think about, do you think you can relate to this saint on a deeper level? Final step in choosing your confirmation saint name, don't overthink, it's gonna be fine. You literally cannot mess this up. All the saints are friends of God. All the saints know God really well. And no matter what saint you choose, that saint will help lead you to God. That's the point of the saints, to help you love God better. And that's also one of the points of confirmation to lead you closer and deeper into union with God and his church. For all those who are going through the process of confirmation, I'm praying for you, you got this. If you know anyone who's going through confirmation, maybe send them this video, maybe this can help them out.